Today is Friday, February the 17th, 2023. As a quick recap, I have challenged myself to trade my $100,000 options account up to $200,000 using only beginner level option strategies. The two strategies are selling cash secured puts and covered calls. I've been at it since June the 1st, 2022, and I'm documenting every trade that goes into the process in this series of videos. Uh, in the last video, I put on a short put position in Dish Networks, and I originally collected 21 cents of credit, and there's really not much value left in this position right now due to the fact that the stock is trading at 1382. So today's uh, expiration day. Uh, therefore, I want to try to get out of this trade. Uh, I can see the bid ask uh, here is one cent versus three cents. I think it's likely that I can get out at two cents. So I'm going to enter a closing trade in here for two cents on the full position. And this is going to debit my account $212. So send that order. Don't know how long it's going to take for this to get filled. It might take uh, multiple fills to get out of these 100 contracts. So I'll just wait around and let the market come to me. All right, so looks like I was able to get a fill there. And yeah, so zero quantity here. Okay, so um, now that uh, I'm flat, I want to think about putting on a new position. And the question is where to go next. Um, one of the principles of what I'm trying to do here is to avoid risk that's associated with earnings. However, um, and, and certainly it's true that in the case of Dish Networks, earnings are coming out uh, in about a week, February the 23rd. So that's one day before the next expiration cycle ends on February the 24th. So typically I would not even consider a, a trade in Dish Networks. However, I'm looking here at the implied volatility for uh, next week, 159%. The expected move is shown here as plus or minus $1.40. That amount of volatility seems, implied volatility seems really attractive from the premium point of view. And so looking here outside the expected move, the 12 strike, the 11 and a half strike, the 11 strike, all of these really are potentially places where I would not mind getting dish shares put to me. Now, if the earnings report comes out and it's absolutely abysmal, then the move is probably going to exceed $1.40. So the premiums here are pretty rich because of the risk of the earnings. And so if I'm going to make a trade in DISH, I have to decide where I want to put the trade on Be because I don't want to just collect a lot of premium. I want to try to preserve some sense of safety in the face of the risk that the earnings will come out and be horrible. Uh, the, again, the only reason why I would consider doing this is because I do think it's likely that the volatility that the market is priced in with the premiums probably overstates what is really going to happen. And it would be nice to be able to capture some of that mispricing in the form of getting a fat premium. So <clears throat> I think uh, the strike level that I feel most confident in, or not most confident, but a good balance between the risk of actually trading into earnings, which typically I would not do versus getting a decent amount of premium, is uh, this 11 and a half strike. 
so uh, I see the bid ask spread here is 19 cents versus 23 cents so maybe I can put in an order and try to pick up 20 cents here or 21 cents and so that's what I think I'm going to do this is a 14 Delta I don't really know how much meaning to attach to that um, given that I'm trading into earnings um, but nevertheless this seems like a good a good level to get in so part of my thought process here as far as the safety angle is that the 52 week low in this stock is about 1255 so in order for um, in order for this position to get challenged really the the earnings are just going to have to be absolutely horrible uh, and for it to go that far below the 52 week low I think would be quite quite surprising um, also if I'm able to get say 21 cents that puts my break even at 1150 minus 21 cents so 1129 and that just seems like a really good place to get into this stock and I at least right now feel like I wouldn't mind have the stock being put to me at that level all right so let's uh, let's get into this um, I want to click here on the bid price I'm gonna change the number of contracts to uh, 114 I think that's what I can what I can use with my available buying power uh, setting the amount of credit I'm trying to get at 21 cents so just review this order so I'm selling 114 dish 11 and a half puts to open and gotta love this little commission here in fees this is so much better than it was on TD Ameritrade and uh, this is going to bring in about twenty three hundred dollars into the account all right so I'm feeling really good about this um, again it is an earnings trade I understand the risk that I'm taking here uh, but I'm willing to accept it because I think it's highly likely that uh, even if the earnings come out and they're not great I, I really just don't believe that DISH is going to make a new 52 week low below 1150 but if it does um, you know assuming it doesn't crash to like five or something like that or eight um, getting in at a break-even price of 1129 uh, on this stock it seems to make a lot of sense to me and that would be a good place to to get in anyway all right so the only thing that's left to do here is click the button so I'm going to do that now all right so I've got a work in order here um, I'm not going to chase this at all I'm going to just let the market come to me if I can get in at 21 cents great if I can't get in at 21 cents I'm probably just going to revisit this position on Monday and it could be that the market has moved even more south than it is today um, and uh, might even be able to get in at a better price than 21 cents so just let this order work and let the market come to me all right so looks like nothing much has happened uh, on this trade uh, despite the passage of several hours here uh, I was able to get one contract filled out of the one or oh, more than 100 that I was trying to to get so that being the case I'm going to reconsider my position here um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the order that I have um, so now I just have uh, one short contract at 11 and a half and uh, if I'm going to reconsider my position I think I want to just go ahead and 
liquidate this position. So I got in at 21 cents. I will get out at 18 cents. So buying to close. Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to do instead is to try to get into the 11 strike. And I think this time I'm going to try to come in at the exact bid price, seeing that there's no distance between the bid and the ask. And Perhaps that means I'm going to get filled on the whole position immediately. Don't know if that will happen, but let's see. Okay, so I have uh, sufficient funds to get 118 contracts, short 118 contracts. So put that in, um, that would be at 12 cents. All right, so this would bring $1,300 or so into the account. Uh, we'll sell 118 dish 11 to open. All right, this looks good. All right, so I'm, I'm in. Looking here at uh, my positions tab, so I've got now the 118 short, short contracts. Um, my break even on this position is going to be the strike price of 11 minus my entry price of 12 cents. So it means that I'm, I've got a break even at $10 and 88 cents. Uh, I really doubt that this position is going to get tested whatsoever, uh, even with the earnings looming on the 23rd. But uh, if I were to get put shares at 11, I don't think that would be a bad thing. Uh, I felt that way at 11.50. I feel that way even more so at 11. Um, but more than likely, I'll just be able to walk away from this trade having collected the premium and not having the shares put to me. All right, if anything changes, I'll come back and make an update, but for now, this trade, I think, is looking good. Again, despite the earnings coming up.